Greetings. This is the voice of Nick Anthony Quach coming to you from the capital of Rhode Island. Follow me. Check out Rhode Island while looking for the best way to build your ideal self. During the 2005 speech at Stanford University, Steve Jobs wanted us to focus on what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. In other words, according to Steve Jobs, nothing is as important as your ideal self. Since you're here, take a look at the center of this state. You're looking at the backyard of Rhode Island State House. Across the street is the main train station. We are in the city of Providence. Providence, that means protective care. I'm walking on the west side of the Providence station. Look, the bird scooter is back in the city. Can you tell? My Skydio one is trying its best to fly through the narrow space and keep on filming me. Okay, let me give this a try. Other people can give it a single push to get this thing going. I'm still not used to it yet. After several attempts, I have to make a small circle before I feel ready to take off. Few days ago, a guy asked me what he should do when his parents do not want him to marry someone they feel incompatible. If you want to have a good life, you have to avoid regret. There are only four ways to get there. One of them is to pass your judgment on others, to measure their behavior using your metrics. This rule applies to parents who always judge their children and vice versa. This is also true among friends, colleagues, and everyone else. By the way, ahead of me is this shopping mall, Providence Place.
On the left is the shopping mall. On the right is the train station. Ahead is the state house. You're looking at the center of Rhode Island. Another way leading to regret is counter-commitments. In other words, one of the four pathways to regret is to never choose one of the two opposing decisions. By the way, lawmakers come here to work after 4 p.m. I don't think the state is paying them enough for their work. To make a living, many of them hold a regular job during the day. Should we take advice mostly from our parents, mostly from our friends, or mostly from others? What should we do when most of their advices are opposing with one another? When you have such questions, you are not sure of your ideal self. When you have such questions, you do not know what you truly want to become. When you have such questions, you need to conceive and develop further a personal philosophy. Helping you to achieve that is the main reason why I'm using this TV series to tell you about the new philosophy created right here in Providence, Rhode Island. What do you see when you look at a mirror? If you can only see yourself as a person, then you did not grasp the first lesson in this new philosophy. Next time, when you look at a mirror, tell yourself that you are looking at a complex business of the self, and its mission is to conceive and develop further your ideal self. Let's go behind this tent and check out a city park. It's called Water Place Park. Check this out. My Skydio one hesitates because it is not yet sure how safe to fly through here. This is the first time I attempt to make a payment for using an electric scooter. Okay, follow me. Oh, wait, I did not finish making the payment. According to Thomas, also known as PVD philosophy, your ideal self and your present self are two different versions of the self. Your ideal self is the book you truly want to write. Your present self is the book you've already written. If you did not like the book, it is because you did not write it using the outline, prepare for your ideal self. In other words, in that case, how you live your life before was not the way towards your ideal self. Otherwise, your present self should already be your ideal self. If you do not like what you got, change what you do.
along the river, you can see many floating fire pits, also known as preserves. Each is kept above the water by three boats. They are all tied down to a metal shaft. One end of the shaft is anchored to the bottom of the river. The other end is pushed up by the boats on high tide. All preserves are about once a month filled with firewood and lit up between dusk and midnight in tune with romantic music to entertain visitors from Providence and nearby cities. Even when many do not know what they truly want to become, they all want to go as fast as possible towards their ideal self. Not knowing all their ideals in life is not the biggest roadblock towards their ideal self. It is not known how to recognize either a shortcut or a roadblock when one appears along the way. Don't worry, a number of episodes in this TV series will show you how. Keep following me. Let's leave the water place park behind us and go through under here to reach the center of Providence. The center of downtown is on the other side of this tunnel. This is an outdoor ice rink in the winter. The red brick building is a hotel. Next to it, on the left, is the city hall. This is a nice view of downtown province.
While you are keeping your eyes on the ball in your life, we are producing more and more episodes for this TV series to help you along the way. Providence, that means protective care. Hopefully, you will find PVD philosophies your providence. So you know, I'm a resident of Providence in Rhode Island, the smallest state in the United States. This is where Mark Kenny, a student in psychology from the University of Rhode Island, and I worked together over two years to publish the first book of Thomas, which is the theoretical foundation for our TV series. PVD philosophy. Remember, here is the first Thomas lesson in PVD philosophy. When you look into a mirror, you should see yourself as a complex business of the self whose mission is to create, develop further your ideal self. More importantly, if you want to run your business of the self professionally and thus successfully, you must avoid doing it alone by yourself. Professionalism for a complex business requires at least two different minds capable of joint intellectual effort. In this case, necessary for success in the making of your ideal self. If you do not know of anyone available to be your long-term mentor, we hope this TV series, PVD Philosophy, gives you a temporary alternative. <laughs>